JVC has unveiled the world's first projectors with HDMI 2.1 ports, capable of accepting 4K 120p as well as 8K 60p video signals, making them a potentially good pairing with the Xbox Series X and the Sony PS5. Let's talk about this. Hello everyone, Visit you from HDTV Test here. I am a bit late in covering this news, but I was on a short holiday break in North Wales. So now that I'm back, let's talk about JVC's new projectors for 2021. The big news is that these projectors will have HDMI 2.1 ports, and as far as we're aware, these are going to be the first HDMI 2.1 projectors on the market by any brand. So there will be two HDMI 2.1 ports with HDCP 2.3, and the company has gone so far to specify an HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. It will be interesting to see whether these JVC projectors will be using the MediaTek SOC or they will be done in-house by JVC themselves. And I think, you know, realistically speaking, it is always going to be more likely that a company uses the MediaTek SOC, but we shall see, you know, when we get the projectors in, if we even get the projectors into review. So these HDMI 2.1 ports on the JVC projectors will be capable of accepting 4K 120p as well as 8K 60p video signals. Now, before I proceed, you know, I need to actually just rattle out the model numbers of these projectors. So, JVC has launched three lines of projector, namely in the UK and the rest of Europe, you know, they will be known as the DLA NZ7, which is the entry level, DLA NZ8 which is the mid-tier, and the flagship will be the DLA NZ9. Again, you know, just like the practices of many manufacturers in the USA, they will have different model numbers. So the NZ7 will be the RS2100 in the USA, the NZ8 will be the RS3100, whereas the top-end NZ9 will be the RS4100 in the States, and I don't know how I managed to cram all these numbers into my brain, you know, it's just a gift I have. As they say, there are three types of people in this world, those who know numbers and those who don't. But let's talk about other features on these projectors then. I think, you know, if we focus on the top-end projector, which is the NZ9 or RS4100 that will clearly have the best native contrast that is spec'd at 100,000 to 1 and also you know it is capable of the highest lumens which is 3,000 lumens and it will be blessed with an all glass lens which is 100 millimeters in diameter and it will be all glass all aluminum lens barrel to be able to resolve 8K resolution the glass lens will have 18 elements in 16 groups, whereas the step-down NZ8 as well as the NZ7 will have a 65mm, again, all-glass lens. But because, you know, it is smaller in terms of the diameter, it will only use 17 elements in 15 groups. We need to stress that the DLRA devices that are used on these projectors are still 4K in nature, so they will have a true 4K resolution of 4096 times 3160. But using eShift technology, the company claims to be able to resolve perfect 8K resolution, and this is known as the 8K eShift X technology. And if we look back at the NX9 or the RS3000 that was launched maybe some three years ago, that used an 8K eShift system. And by that, we mean that we shift each pixel by half pixel diagonally to achieve a pseudo 8K resolution. But on these 2021 models, especially the top end NZ9 as well as the NZ8, they will be using the 8K eShift X system. Now, this will move the pixels in four directions, up, down, left, right. And because they have to move in four directions, the driving speed of the panels have to be higher. So it is apparently driven at 240 hertz, which is, to my mind, you know, really quite amazing for a projector. Let's talk about other strengths of the JVC projectors. And I think, you know, the... N7, N5, as well as the NX9, which is the previous generation products from JVC, were lamp-based projectors. But these 
new projectors from JVC for 2021 will all be laser and this is extremely exciting news because the only laser projector we've seen from the company was probably what some four or five years ago the famous RS4500 or the DLA-Z1 and that you know obviously uses JVC's blue ESAND laser system and an updated system is now being used on the NZ9, the NZ8 as well as the NZ7 and you know as with most things laser they have quite a long lifetime it has been specced at 20,000 hours and it has probably faster boot up time and faster shutdown time as well now one of the biggest appeal of JVZ projectors is its you know legendary black levels now a uh, native contrast of 100,000 to 1 for the NZ9 as well as 80,000 to 1 for the NZ8 and 40,000 to 1 for the NZ7 hopefully will bode well for the black level performance of these projectors Another feature that you know defines JVC projectors, especially over the past three years, would be their frame adapt HDR dynamic tone mapping. And together with the theater optimizer system, you know, this allows HDR content to be better tone mapped on a scene by scene or even frame by frame basis, which is good news considering how challenging HDR is for projectors. This coverage is sponsored by Richard Sounds Manchester. Call 0333 900 0086 for the best prices and expert advice for TVs, AV and Hi-Fi. And new for 2021, these JVC projectors will also support HDR10+. They already support the static metadata HDR10, the broadcast-friendly hybrid log gamma or HLG, but it will also now support the HDR10+, open standard dynamic metadata format. Now, I don't think you know any projectors will be capable of supporting Dolby Vision at this moment in time because Dolby Laboratories, you know, has very strict requirements and they don't think the light output of projectors is currently enough, you know, to fulfill the criteria for Dolby Vision presentation, you know, in the home when you are talking about these home theater projectors. But you know, let's keep you know, our eyes and ears open, whether this change in the future. But another thing that was pointed out in the press release was that the optical pathway has been refined even further for the flagship NZ9 as well as the sub-flagship NZ8 because, you know, there will be a better optical device in the pathway to reduce light scatter. But before I go, I would like to tell you about the prices of these projectors because, you know, I think if I had announced these prices at the start of the video, many of you would probably be shocked and close this video in disgust. <laughs> but in the USA, the pricing has been announced, even though, you know, we still don't get the prices in the UK and presumably the rest of Europe as well. So the entry level RS2100 will retail for 10,000 US dollars. The RS3100 will have a retail price of $15,000, whereas you know, the top end RS4100 will be $25,000 US dollars. And I don't think these are cheap prices, but considering what you get, you get JVC's insane black level, you get 4K laser, you get you know 8K resolution, albeit via E-Shift, and you get two HDMI 2.1 ports. I think, you know, these are probably the projectors to beat. And if you are a serious projector enthusiast, you know, this must be probably right on top of your shortlist. If you'd like to watch more videos on JVC projectors, please click here for our playlist and I'll see you in the next video.